Go off, yo. Elias, Moran, and I'm Vincent Durant, one and only. We're I'm an 18 year old senior. I'm a 17 year old junior in high school. And this is this is what we do. This is our life. What do we What do we do? We buy cool old clothing. That's what we do. No, we, no, we go to um. It's not only like people think it's only thrift stores, I guess. But we go to what would you say? Flea markets, thrift stores, you buy off your homies, everything. And you're just kind of like curating a collection, I guess. And you're just going to sell that to whoever would like it. It kind of depends who your, your buyer market is. So, this is the, uh, the abyss. The pit. Yeah, the pit. What we do is we're going to take, like, all these bags here. We're going to bring uh, them in. Boom. Grab, grab, grab a good amount of these bags, bring them over to the other room, and then we do some storm from there. All these bags are just random, and we just pick through them. What we got is once we sort these out the bags, we sort them on this table, men's, women's, kids, and then pants and tops, and we just lay them up. Like this is women's coats, women's tops, women's tops, women's shorts, women's pants, women's dresses, blouses, whatever. We got more like pajama pants. I don't know, woman stuff. We got boys, boys, and girls. I don't know. Yeah, so I was probably, I started when, like, summer of last year. I started buying vintage clothing in the middle of quarantine because I bought a pair of, here, let me grab them. Nike SB Dunks, but they're, like, a really rare pair. I came with the original box. It's these. <laughs> I made outfits from that and, like, bought a couple, like, old single-stitch tees, some random ones, like a Modot one, some Banty, a little butterfly one, like stuff like that, that was just, I thought was like, oh, that's cool. That, after like 10th grade, I got into it, I guess. And like that was 11th grade too, because it was like, I, mostly on lines. We go back to school, I like, started wearing it more. And then like, and in the summer, my dad always did yard sales. That was a big thing in this flea market uh, near us. And we'd always go, and we started going like every Sunday, and I was like buying stuff, and I realized like, oh, like if I like buy something, it does not my size, like I can just sell it. Yep. Um... I've always been into thrifting and stuff the past couple of years, two, two years maybe. And I started like going thrifting regularly more, finding more cool stuff. And at this time, I wasn't even friends with Elias. I was just doing my own thing. Me and my brothers go out thrifting just for fun, just like as a pastime. And um, I started seeing stuff on my Instagram, my TikTok, stuff like that, of like people finding good stuff at the bins. I'm like, what What are the bins? like? And so I started going there a bunch, started posting it like on my Snapchat. And... Elias slides up on the on my chat. He's like, yo, you go to the bins, blah, blah, blah. Uh, he slid up. He was like, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, I go every weekend, blah, blah. And then you said something like, yeah, let me let me slide, blah, blah. Pick me up. Pick me up, something yeah. like that. So I pick him up. Uh, we, like, go. We do our thing. We find some good stuff. He teaches Damn, me stuff. Damn, was our first? Dude, I don't, I don't even, even remember, remember. If we found what we found that I time. don't even remember. But then that's when I started, like, getting into thrifting, doing it more. That bin is the most disgusting thing we ever found. Oh, my God. It's a really good crew next to It's like a really rare one. Is that wet or dry? Dry, but it's like crusty. Oh, well, maybe it's dry now, it would be nice. Would that, would that weird ass mold make it look cooler? Yeah. With the wash? Yeah. I think well, it would well, be I want it I natural. So there's, uh, there's certain events out there. There's uh, a lot of them in our area, there's some in Jersey. And it's basically like an amount of vendors. It could be like 20 to 100 vendors. 40 vendors. 100 people that do like the same stuff as us. Uh, the ones that we do mainly are the ones in Philly, Philly Expo Center. 50 other vendors, you go there, you bring all your good stuff. And you're just gonna, everyone sets up, everyone brings stuff from all different parts of the community, which is the craziest part, seeing awesome. kind of all that in one spot. Yep. Because, like, yeah, everyone has their, like, little collection of their storage unit or their shed or their basement like this, but it's, like, you kind of see it all in one spot. Everyone's doing, like, it's sick just seeing all those different people and, like, kind of how awesome. everyone sets up.
Something we do in our free time, like in our leisure, like when we have nothing to do, we just go out, we do it for fun, we enjoy it. Some days you hit nothing, and some days like you walk home with like 30 t-shirts, and it's about being consistent. It's luck and consistency combined, because yeah. it's also uh, you get a rush when you do find good stuff, because especially if you find a bunch of bad stuff, if you yeah. like hit gold, it goes oh great. God. I like, that's probably my favorite part. It's like, yeah, making the money is nice. Like, yeah, it's great to make money and like make. It's like, but it's like a hobby that like at the moment it's a hobby. I guess you'd say. I could I could do it and not sell stuff and, and still be, be completely yeah, fine with it. Be fine it's because it. I love going out doing it. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> oh.